Here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome. It's Jackie G, Jackie P. We are so excited. It is the third and final month of quarter two. Team Growers, you're the first graduating class that we're going to have of our Team Growers 2023. We're excited because we're going to open it up to uh, new enrollees or re-enrollees July 1st. Um, so before our season is over, our quarter, we will be asking for feedback as well from each and every one of you because we really rolled this out with uh, Jack being new and we just kind of put our minds together and said, let's go. And we have been so excited to see your growth um, again in sales and sponsoring and many of you requalifying or qualifying for the first time. So we kick off tonight, the month of June, the first team grower time that we have, and then we'll be back again um, on the 20th. So every other week we'll be live together as a group and we can't be more excited to bring you Gabby Gutierrez. She is one of the largest um, direct ambassadors in the nation, produces one of the largest incomes, has one of the largest number of leaders in her team, sponsors in her sleep, um, and she has produced more Mazda winners when we had the Mazda program that just left us in January. So she's going to be your special guest, so don't miss it. We want to kick this off, though, with the celebration of those of you with us here. And we have two first-time new qualifiers uh, from the team growers. We've got Techie and Denise. So we are super excited. We're going to come back to the audience in just a little bit um, to just hear words from them. If they're with us out there, I know Techie's out there, um, but we they also had their first official uh, leader meeting today that they were able to attend and join our family of Jaffra leaders. Uh, so they've been with us in and out all day long, and we're never going to stop celebrating because that's what promotions are all about. So we say a great big welcome um, to you. And Jack, I opened it up and took your little slide. And you know what? I know you're fine with it because you just got off the Zoom. I'm there. <laughs> and our whole day went like this. So I'm going to take it back to Jack. She's going to tell us some more hot frags before we come back to the audience. This is how we live now. And it's fine. <laughs> um, so I would love to shout out um, our friends who grew this this last month in May. Um, Denise and Tucky, who both promoted, um, grew by three folks in May. Um, Kathy Kohler Fawcett, um, who's here, I think, grew by three. Um, Stephanie uh, grew by one. Berta grew by one. Deb grew by one. Um, Maria, Bev, and Carla grew by one who still need to QNC. So reminder, get those folks QNC'd. Um, I would love to hear about how your sales were in um, May. That's a huge deal. How did those things go? Um, how were how were your attitudes? How were your brains? How did it feel to sponsor? Like we want to hear from y'all. Yes. Yeah. Let's go back. Let's go back to people. So I love it. So um i don't know techie can you unmute for a moment i know she's out and about and she's got kids around her and she's in a park or somewhere i'm sitting on the porch yeah on the porch porch so the park. gotten used to tuesday four o'clock i have my meeting leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> awesome so techie we're super excited you did it um just congratulations tell us a little bit about how does it feel to set the goal and achieve it first Honestly, it still hasn't completely sunk in. <laughs> I did get my first commission check. So when I woke up to that this morning, that was amazing. So that was exciting. That helped us sink in a little bit. And I logged into Jaffer Biz and it said manager. So that hit me a little bit more. So it's like slowly hitting me a little at a time. Super cool. So I know I did ask her a little bit, just uh, t uh, two things. I'm going to ask two questions for you. First of all, we want to know your team name and what that means to you. Um, so it's Royal B-U-P's. Um, so it means a lot to me for a lot of reasons. One, I wanted Royal because Royal Jelly is everything. And I'm also obsessed with purple. So all my colors, even my business cards, all Royal Purple. So that all ties together. And then B-U um, for a lot of reasons. Because one, I'm not huge into makeup. So I didn't feel like beauty was a word that really represented me. And so to me, it was more about B-U. Be who you are. And you're still welcome in Jaffra. So whether you're male, female, non-binary, I wanted it 
the name to represent anybody and everybody that wants to be a part of our team. And then the Ties, T-Y-S, my son's name's Tywin, and a lot of people call him Ty. So if slash when legacy kicks in, it kind of, you know, links to his name there and kind of gives a little nod to my son. That's awesome. We love it. We love it. So, Tucky, tell us, I know you have been our action challenge achiever every week. You're taking action. You see something and you go do it. Um, you took the 30 facials and you went and did that. So tell us how are these activities and just you really took on the 30 facials very seriously. Um, how did that impact your results? And do you feel that had an impact on getting your title and growing your team? Well, as much as I want to say I busted my butt and I had the goals, I don't think I would have done it. I would have succeeded without the 30 facials goal. Because as much as I was out doing pop-ups and trying to talk to people, it was a great conversation starter like those of you that saw my Meineke story. Since there was downtime, my opening line was, we're at the end of the month. I'm in a contest. I'm trying to get 30 faces in 30 days. And if you guys help me out, you're in my drawing for my Starbucks cup. So it was a great conversation starter for people that wouldn't normally care about facials or hand treatments or whatnot. So it helped me substantially. It gave me a number to push towards. It gave me something to work on. I love the actions that you give me because sometimes my head spins so much and I have so many. It helps me rein it in. And have something, you know, a few little things to work on each day or each week. So it was a total game changer for me. And I highly recommend people do it every single month. Like it's, it's absolutely a total game changer. And if you can have a hook like I did, like my bling bling Starbucks cup was 400 stars on Starbucks. So if you frequent there, it cost me nothing for that cup. And it was a huge attention grabber. It was a huge hook. It looked great on the table. I could have a little sign, ask how you can win me posted it on videos, like that was my great hook. So anytime you can have that, I'm not saying spend a ton of money, mine cost me nothing. <laughs> Something that tells people that they're not only helping you, which is a great thing, they're you know giving you something to work towards, they're gonna win something, they're gonna have happy skin. Like there's so many different benefits to having those different hooks that you can do. Absolutely fantastic, it's so true. So we're gonna show <laughs> you the new challenges going on for this month. We don't make them up because we're just super creative and we're really crazy fun together, Jack and I. But you know what the truth is? We know these are the actions that lead you to the results you're after. Um, so, and if you're here as a leader already, Miss Kathy already in her, gosh, is this already your third month? That sounds so crazy. Um, you know, it's a great task to take on. We do the, the creation we do a whole, you know, gifting and mailing. We do all of that. We just want you to help your team earn more. And that's really what it's all about. So I love that. So Tucky, welcome. Congratulations, another graduate. I, I just want to share, I did ask her, like, what kind of results do you think? So I just want to summarize whether or not we have the challenge. Challenge yourself to 30 facials. Like, even if it's 10 facials. Give yourself tasks because women love a checklist, right? We want to get her done. So when you take an action step that's going to lead you to more new people to offer beauty and businesses to, it really makes it simple. So I said, Tucky, what do you think overall in general? Because she wasn't literally tracking it, but overall in general, two for sure QNCs came from that, 300 in sales um, and 18 and more coming bookings. So, I mean, that's, that's a lot, right? And 31 new contacts and happy people that are now planting seeds for her. So it isn't just results either. It's that those activities created a habit for her. And now she can just speak in her sleep what she's going to do. And if we would have talked two months ago, she was all over the places. I mean, she was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do, right? She does know what to do. Tucky's very good at direct sales, but it was like just having a focus is that key. So I love it. So Bravo, I thought you got just super creative. You kept it simple. And whether it was 90 degrees or not, you were doing it. You were setting up, you're popping up your trunk. You're doing what you needed to do. So congratulations. So I want to, I want to call. I do on have a tiny, great story 
that happened today, but I don't want to dominate time. So if there's time later, will you come back to me so I can tell you what happened today? So go now because you might have children who interrupt you. Tell us a short story. <laughs> so my nieces, I take care of them, whatever. So there's this pizza shop that I've been hanging out at when I'm waiting for them to get out of school. And the last time I was there, I gave the owner and the manager some goodie bags. And I was having a very melancholy today. I was just kind of like not feeling it, not in the greatest mood, just kind of frowny. And things slowed down in the pizza shop. And it was just me, the owner and the manager and the cook. And I said, oh, now that it's slowed down, what did you guys think of your goodie bags that I gave you? Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot. I loved it. I was hoping you were going to come back because I forgot the name. Even though I have your card, I couldn't remember anything about it. Scatterbrained. Um, do you have anything for dry hands? Because our hands get so cracked here. So I take my stuff with me everywhere. You know that. So I grabbed my roll-up bag. We did a hand treatment right then and there on all three of them. The cook, the guy, the manager, and the owner. She bought the trio that I had bundled together, the hand scrub, the lotion, the hand lotion, and the lip balm. I had them all bundled. She paid me for them right then and there. She wants to do an employee appreciation day. She's like, I have so many female employees, and I bet I even have a couple guys that would love to do facials. We're going to book down a time when we're really super slow, make the guys that don't want to do it go work, and the rest of us are going to do facials. And she um, asked for a paper copy of my catalog. She wants to place some orders. Even the guy cook said, I get so face dry being back here with the oven. What moisturizer do you have to help me? So, like, it was amazing. I went from turning my frown upside down to talking Gapra, got a new contact, got a sale, got an <laughs> employee appreciation event, and some more happy people. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's awesome. And that's, you know what, that's exactly what this is. We call it the give and go. You can give something out, but go back and check back, right? Keep your face hanging out. That's really, really what it's all about. So that's a great story. So congratulations. I want to call on Kathy, if I may. Kathy has, as a new manager, we know she came in just as a fresh graduate to manager, and you had three personal QNCs last month, and you've been earning this new manager bonus along the way as well. So, Kathy, congrats. Can you give us any tips on how did you sponsor three new consultants? Just like Tucky, I don't even know how it happened. You know, it just, just sharing the word, just talking about Jaffa over and over and over and over. And my clients finally, you know, sometimes they'll say, oh, maybe I could use this or maybe I could use that. And, and just the consistency, I think, is what for me personally is, you know, every day I talk about it. Every day there's a chat about it sitting on my station. You know, you guys have all heard that. I'm very fortunate to have that little situation. But it works for me. And um, the Q&Cs, they were going to buy some products and they were going to spend $200. And I'm like, $31 more? Are you guys are nuts. Just do it. So that's how that all worked. And, you know, just reassuring. I know they're very skeptical like I was when I started. Oh, I'm not going to have a party. I don't know if I can do this. I'm nervous. I've done, you know, multiple direct sales before, you know, and just reassuring them what a great company we have and how blessed we are and, and how it just works. So I, I wish I had some really great, you know, words, but I really believe it's just consistency and just having it available, just like Tucky carrying around with her, you know, and, and being open to talking about it. That, that to me is what works. So it's, it's called opening a conversation is really what you true. do first, right? It's not that you're open, you're just opening your mouth <laughs> right. and then letting them decide. And you know, your key trigger point when you're getting near that, 150, 200, why would you not do this yourself? Yeah, you might yeah, like everybody it. says yes, right? So yeah, I love absolutely. it. Congratulations. You have Thank just you. continued growth to your team. It's fabulous. We had a great meeting in San Diego. Her team was shining and showing up, and it was fantastic. It so was great fun. job. Great job. Thank you. We also don't want to be a miss and say that we did miss uh, Phyllis Richardson's name on our sponsoring. She had a QNC last Ooh. month. So it's okay. You know what? We're human. We make errors too. Re you got to know all the reports that we get. It happens, but we don't want to miss her. So we want to say a great big bravo to Phyllis as well. Great job. Congratulations. So we want to just do a little shout out. You, If you have anything hot and happening that worked well for you, something you want to brag about that was really cool. We've been seeing posts and pictures and different things you're doing out there. Go ahead and put it in the chat and we'll do a loud shout out. Um, 
for anything that you'd like to brag about. But we want to just hear, is there anyone who had over $500 last month of personal sales? If you did, raise your hand. I... <laughs> cool. How much did you have, Techie? Well, technically, I had 471 on the website, but I sold several hundred based out of my stock, like those hand and foot bundles and stuff. Yep. So I had probably closer to just under 800. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you. Anyone else over 500? Go ahead, Kathy. You look like you're talking. No, about I was her. close. I can't remember right now. I'll, I had a brain fade. I'm like, I think I was really close. <laughs> 700. Sounds good. Awesome. awesome, awesome. So, well, we don't have reports yet, so we don't get a chance to bring in Alia yet. But okay. congratulations. How many of you are excited about June? Woo-woo. Hot diggity dog. We're excited for y'all. So we want to just keep on rolling. We've got a packed little agenda for you tonight. So we just want to take a circle back and say, all right, here we are, you guys. All right. Here's what you committed to in Team Growers. All right. You made a commitment when you started to do 501 QNC during April, again in May, and then in June. And at the end, you would qualify to manager. And this is the final month. If you're sitting here and you don't have the title, this is your final month to qualify to manager, okay? So if you aren't caught up, it would look like this. In April and May, you needed to have a thousand total, um, sorry, two QNCs, my bad. And again, you would qualify in the month of May or June. All right. So if you've done it, put it in the chat that you are caught up. You've had $1,000 for two months and two QNCs. We know our graduates who qualified to manager. Bravo to you all. Okay. Hey, once you hit manager, just keep sponsoring. We're not going to even talk about anything else with you. Okay. Earn your bonus and keep sponsoring exactly what Kathy's doing. She's <laughs> our model of what a new manager does. You keep going. Okay. So if you didn't do it, now you're going to be at the end of three months. It's 1,503 QNCs. That isn't for pressure. That's because that's the activities you need to be doing to become a leader, stay a leader, and go earn those bonuses like Kathy, okay? So this isn't like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Yes or no? Because here's the deal. To graduate this class, you got to promote this month. So you need to have a plan in place with your manager. You need to have that all set up. So it is a time when you say, I committed to something. Maybe I'm not doing it. Okay. Well, you didn't, but you can get caught up this month. So we want you to have one big focus. Qualify if you haven't qualified. If you did qualify, keep sponsoring. You need more than four, more than five, more than six. Keep that team a growing. We say to you, if you're not committed, it's okay to sit. It's okay to say, I'm not going to do it this month. It's not working for me yet, but I want to work my muscles and I'm going to take the month of June off. It's okay if that's you. You either commit and make it happen like those before us have been doing, or you can take a sit. And we want you to know, no judgment. We're here for you when you're ready to commit and go get it. So we will be relaunching again July 1st, okay? You can stay on the call, it's okay, but let us know individually if you wanna sit out June and you wanna come back in either quarter three, which is July start, or quarter four, which is October start. Those of you that are new will be eligible to join the next leaders group called District Builders Group. So, you'll be able to get ready to promote groups, okay? So we wanted to just take some time to allow you to decide. So now we're gonna kick into something fun. We're gonna go kind of quick and then we're gonna come back and forth with y'all, okay? But we're gonna do a fast, fun summer approach. Anytime you're posting pictures, post hashtag Jaffra Summer. We're gonna get loud and proud all over the internet. You can see each other if you do the hashtag. We wanna be on social media, we wanna be everywhere. Just posting and bragging about the Jaffra fun. So one place we're going to have fun, and we just wanted to find out who's going. I'm going to turn this to Jack with a little 30-second commercial about convention. Go, Jack, go. The last day to register for convention is June 15th. Say it with me, June 15th. 15th. 
And if you want to go to convention, I want you to be there. Um, uh, Walter Bond is speaking at convention. I have had the pleasure of um, sitting with Walter Bond a couple of times. He's really cool. He's a really cool guy. He's super fun. Here's his book. I read it. This book is in terrible condition because um, I've read it a lot of times. He is a really great speaker. He's a really inspirational dude. Um, he's super fun. And I think you guys are going to like him a lot. Um, so come. If you can come, if you want to figure out how to afford it, go sell some Jaffra at 50% commission and <laughs> make it happen. Um, come. Um, and note there that English, you are 140 people deep and the English uh Eastern market is coming in spades. There's 84 of us going. So I would love to see and snug and hug all of you in Florida. So come, 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 come. come. Yeah. If you're come, going, come, come. type it in the chat. We want to see who's going because we want to see if somewhere in our crazy agenda that Jack and I will have, if we yeah. can have team growers meet up. Okay. Like we're oh, super yeah. stoked, right. You can all meet each other in person. I will totally crash a party. If one of you has a party, I will crash it. I know Jackie will too. She's so fun. <laughs> we will be there. But we just want to show you those challenges. So Jack's going to take it away just with some really fast updates to the challenges of this month. We've already posted it, but Jack, take it away. What do we got this month? Okay, so your month, your your challenge for June is waves, to make waves in June, okay? So your W is to walk and talk to new people get five new leads. So we're going five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Walk and talk to new people, get five new leads, a bundle sale a day, sell four different bundles. This is easy. Okay. A virtual skin consult or makeup try on with three people. Easy events host to your way, your way. That means you can do parties. You can do tabletops. You can do whatever you want Two events your way. And sponsor one new QNC. Grab a wave. Report to your Jackie. Uh, for spotlight recognition, we have some prizes. They're fun. Report. We don't know what you do unless you tell us. Okay? And we want to highlight you. It's going to be super great. Just do it. Um, please note here, what are we doing here? Is we are growing to new manager. So note on the wave uh, how to get to manager to ride the wave it starts with you plus four and 24 in pre-branch sales um, because we are all working toward our new manager bonus and if you guys I know some of you have been managers in this group before you are eligible for the re-qualified manager bonus this month only what I'm super stoked about this okay <laughs> if you've been a manager before and you re-qualify this month I'm looking at you, previous managers in this group. <laughs> um, you get the new manager bonus. You're eligible to go after that $1,200 in new manager bonuses again, okay? So remember that you are able to do that, okay? And how are we gonna do that? We're gonna have our 66 conversations. We're gonna track the results of our 66 conversations. If you don't have this guy already printed out, get with it. You know that we want you to be having these 66 conversations, okay? Make your make your list, make a script, plug it in, do your thing, get out there and open your mouth and <laughs> talk to people about what you feel passionate about. And that's Jackra, right? Say yes. You yes. got it. So those are our challenges of the month, right? You've been hearing from Kathy and Tucky sharing some stories. It's all about that. All we wanted to do really quick is, you know, right in front of you is a calendar. Can't, can't even talk. I've been talking way too long. Calendar full of opportunities. So we know you can come, but could you per potentially bring people with you? So in green are the gatherings that you can bring guests to. People who might want to take a look, maybe your team members who want to take another look at what their potential is. So don't go alone. Take the green and make it more green for you and your team by bringing guests and your team with you. OK, then once you're a leader, you go to the purple attendance ones. All right. So again, for you and then you've got your blue for the team growers. 
We also give you in guide number three, one, two, three in Facebook, we have all the invitations ready for you. You can just take a screenshot, snip it, and post it and paste it, boost it, whatever you got to do, and bring people. So don't forget to really print our calendar, which is in guide three, which the invites are there and the calendars are there in our Facebook group. So use it and move it to more people. If you missed yesterday, you got to listen to the recording. We gave you everything to set you up for success. I heard Maria say, I love thinking about golf courses. Well, look, it's Women Golfers Month. We went through in Marketing Monday, I'm not going to repeat any of this training. We took you through how to really use this social calendar for you and your consultants and potential consultants. We showed you theme parties of the month, how to use the hostess offers this month. We talked about gift guides and offers this month, how to turn bundles into more, and even the words and the market for sponsoring today. We then showed you, and again, all of these slides, all of the recording is in guide number one on Facebook. We even took you through a wonderful tool for you and your consultants. If you don't start the month with goals, then break it down to weekly goals, then make it into daily actions. No goal is going to happen, okay? So, or if it happens, it won't get repeated. So please use this with your manager as your coaching or your business bestie and get that done. We take you through on the first month of the month, everything that's on the table from themes, dreams, to the guides, to the calendar, and our goal is to always be teaching you the five B's to this business. So check out guide number one. You can always find the recordings also on Jackie Geisinger YouTube. Just become a subscription to that. And you know what? You'll always get an alert to everything. All right, Jack, what do we have on the table that could help them reach their personal or I should say their team goals this month to become a leader? Well, we have you talked the about it. We we have the new manager and the requalifying manager bonus that I was so excited about a minute ago. All right. So <laughs> we have the new manager and like I said, the requalifying manager bonus that every month that you earn it, you get $100, right? And then at the end of six months, if you've earned all the months previous, you get another $600 for a total of $1,200. Holy Toledo. Give me dollar bill. I love it so much. And then you also have more rewards, um, free business tools um, for six months or five months, six months? Months, yep. Six months, right. When you do the things, um, which is so awesome to help you build your business, to help you grow. Um, and re-qualifying managers, you are able to do this, which is so, so awesome. I love it. I love it. So well, how let's do you do the details? Manager? Tell us the dirty. Here's the quick and dirty. You all know <laughs> this because this is how, what you're reaching for, but let's go over it one more time. So there's you and you have four or you need four direct consultants. So that's four people that you personally sponsor with 300 in personal sales or more. Okay. And then everybody in your group together has 2,400 in pre-branch or more obviously and you have to have 300 or more okay so it's and, you and you're getting paid jack right obviously and you're getting paid 11 yeah. percent on everybody in front of you so cool so cool but all right wait. but wait, wait y'all okay so your managers if if you've promoted already your managers okay and let's pretend that you have promoted somebody up underneath of you Okay. And then you become a district manager in the next few months. This is possible for y'all. Okay. So let's pretend that you promote a manager and you're like riding the district manager high and living the dream. And you want to go on a leadership retreat um, in November with some of the most fabulous leaders um, in our company. Um, and learn a thing or two about leadership, okay? There is a leadership retreat happening. It's going to be an annual thing um, for district managers to district directors. Uh, the qualification period for this year is June to August 31st. It is November 3rd and 4th, and it's happening, happening in Las Vegas, okay? Um, there are only 46 spots available in this whole thing, okay? 
Um, there's registration to participate. You have to opt in to participate and you have to meet certain requirements to be able to go, okay? You have to maintain your title during. You cannot take a grace period during. Um, you have to stay steady or move up. You can't dip down or you're not eligible to go. And you have to have six personal QNCs, obviously with 400 um, personal retail sales. Um, so sponsoring is key and any ties will be broken by your personal sales. So truly the key here is to get out there and sponsor your face off. Um, <laughs> so if this is something that you want to do, get with your Jackie and we're going to help you to promote to district manager so that you'll be able to do. That, okay. Um, and don't be disheartened if you don't get in one of the 40 six spots the first year because we're going to do it again and it's going to be super awesome but this year the first mentors of the leadership retreat are going to be um ava gabby vicky and monica um so it's a star-studded first um ambassador set that's going to take care of this first group of leaders um so we just wanted to let you know that this leadership retreat is something that's going to happen um and we're excited and i know that the leaders are excited so we wanted to get you excited too if it's your passion, you got time. Yep, you have All time. Right? You just have to be DM1 by the end of August. And here's what's cool. Vicki Hacking, you already had that ambassador, right, to yourself. And we're even bringing you Gabby Gutierrez. It's only because you're in the team builders. No one else gets that training with them. So we are so excited for you. So we just wanted to open your mind to bigger things, bigger dreams. And here we go. Now we're going to just show you just the perks on the table. We know you might know this for you, but this is now your, I'm going to have you put your leader hat on. We're going to boogie through the, the perks that are going on this month that could help your consultants this month. So you want to get your consultants to VIP status. Somebody new, they come in at 400. They want to keep going 400. You want to sell VIP because all the perks are there. We know we've got the jewelry for you and maybe someone on your team ending this month um, with this quarter. You've got the VIP shop, of course, that has great, great deals. So call those VIPs first, encourage them to do this early. And when they shop there, they're going to get a free gift. OK, so you've got that highlight. Here's something else that we have. Some of you might have consultants who have been in for a while. Maybe they are inactive or pre-inactive. They haven't ordered in the last uh, four months. So that group of consultants from June 2021 to February 2023. When you go into Jaffa Biz, you click on your reports, you click under sales and sponsoring, and there's your team tracker. When you look there, you can see if they're a P or an I. They're not active, meaning they've ordered in the last four months. So that means that this month, any one of those P's or I's who place a $400 order are going to get these two fabulous spa gifts valued at $39. That could help your team qualification. So work with your manager if you need guidance with those reports. If you sponsored last month, we saw a whole bunch of you there with some QNCs. Bravo to you. Remember, when those new consultants do 400 again this month in June on your first one that is QNC last month and then does 400 this month, she's on her way to VIP, you're going to get this wonderful pearl and pin necklace set. And then the top two. So... I saw Tucky with three. I saw Kathy with three. And when all of them are doing their 400, you could be in the top two in the region um, and earn this beautiful velvet uh, princess jewelry set. So again, great opportunities for you to keep growing. I love that Kathy said this. It really is something that she said that is just so magical. It's so true. Are you telling everyone about the simple way that they can join Jaffra? to shop, to save, to have that membership. Because it isn't just for retail, but when they hit that 400, it unlocks a royal jelly hostess prices and many of our top selling products, et cetera. So it's so cool. She said it beautifully. When they start heading to, to 200, they could get their products at 140 cost. So we just added this to your slides in case you wanna print it and show it to people and just show them really the smart way to shop. And all of your consultants, helping them understand how much more they get with a $200 cost order. Look at that. It's almost $200 more in retail 
for just you know $60 more. So again, we wanted to put that in there for simple math. So we also want you to reach out to your team. We know some of them have been here a while, got pretty sad that we took away the brochures. Um, well, we heard you loud and clear. We went through the whole process again and we brought your catalogs back. So guess what? You want your team ordering the 15th of the month so they can get their brochures as well. They can order early, they can order the 15th, and this again is to help your teams for qualifications. So I'm going to end with these other tools. We've got great kits, as you always know. Jaffra has some great slides in Jaffra Biz from the business meeting. You can use these flyers in every order and in every uh, gift treat bag or sample bag you're giving away. We want to take you to, again, the three reasons people join in the summertime. Why we wanna use a slide like this everywhere we go, to print it, to post it, to talk about it. They can open their membership and shop and save up to 50%. They can do the family friend share plan with free websites, weekly savings email for free, and just enjoy maybe sharing enough that they get their products for free. Or they can earn more, more income, more fun, more community, and keep it as simple as going out and just sharing what you love. So we do have something, Jack, tell us about this. Okay, put your listening ears on. Thursday, the 15th at 9 a.m. Pacific, which is noon Eastern time. I'm going to need you all, everyone, tell everyone that you know, leader, consultant, everyone, to meet us. It's going to be a Jaffra Zoom link. We'll give it to you, we promise. We'll post it everywhere. We'll tattoo it on our foreheads. <laughs> meet us on the Zoom for like a super giant announcement. It's 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 huge, okay? Um, it'll be fast. It'll be like Paris Hilton level hot. Like that's hot level hot. Um, very exciting stuff. We're really excited about it. Um, we're really excited about it. So <laughs> meet it's us on help Thursday. Them qualify. It's going to help them earn yeah. their new manager bonuses. Oh my gosh. Like it's your hot. summer will be so good because of this announcement. So please do meet us Thursday, the 15th at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, all the times in between. We will tell you all the link. Just come to just put it on your calendar right now. Thank love you. it. Love it. Okay. All right. What's that? That's a cool picture, Jack. What's I, happening here? That is that is people who are too young for me to be looking at them like that. <laughs> so what are we gonna talk about, Jack? <laughs> no, she's blushing. We're gonna give you some tips on how to have a sizzling summer. Welcome to our cray cray. So we know everything's great about Jaffa, right? Right. Yes, everything is great about Jeffra. Of course, everything is great about Jeffra. You can manage your business from anywhere. You can sell the things that you love and you earn your sales and your, pers your personal commission on your sales. Of course, we love it. It's for everybody. <laughs> okay, but in summertime, we have to set up, we have to step up our personal recruiting, right? Because sometimes our teams might step it back. Yes? So that means that we have to think ESP. And what does that mean? Talking to every single person. Think about your 66 combos. Think about your OCI. Think every single person. Be ready to talk to everybody at the pool, at the grocery store, at the gym, everywhere. When you're out and about, when you're with friends, when you're I don't know, when you're at your neighbor's pool, wherever, wherever you might be, let everybody know how much you love your business and how great it is to have the flexibility to work when you want to. Yeah. So don't prejudge people. Um, don't make the choice for them. Don't steal the um, opportunity from them because you're afraid to ask. Make it your goal to have 10, 20, 25 conversations weekly and ask them to join your team. Because when you take action, you have result. There is no result without first putting a step into action, okay? So utilize your, your sponsoring challenge, the cute little bag, the little summer bag uh, that you get with your first QNC. Who's gonna get it? Everybody, right? Who is gonna mm -hmm. get it here? Um, when In the summertime, when you can't rely on anybody but you, 
feel free to take on a little bit more for yourself. Don't be afraid. Don't shy away from doing a little bit more. Lead your team. Get into the mindset that leaders have to go first to show people that it's okay to do the work. So book more parties. In a time when everyone else is saying, oh, it's summer and it's hard and I don't want to. Say, okay, well, I want to. Leaders go first. Book the parties. Add two. Add two in your week. Add add two more in your month and say, all right, well, I'm going to make up for it then. I'm going to do it. So if you have a $400 party average, make another $1,600 a week. Make another $3,200 a week, right? Do it. Do it for you because that's money that you deserve. Do it for you because you want to ensure that your parties will make money for you because you can control what you do. Figure out how much money that you want to make and then show your team that even though it's summer, you can do it because they'll believe that they can do it if you show them how. Right? Yeah, that's right. Remember, remember what you decide to do. Keep the promises to yourself. Stand for, stand beside what you decide to do, right? Decide what you stand for and then do it. Stay in your mindset. If you decide to do something, freaking follow through, y'all. You set the tone. Have all the right tools, right? So if you're going to go out and have recruiting conversations, have your business card. If you're going to go out and have recruiting conversations, have a recruiting pack with you. If you're going to go out and have conversations about Jaffrey, you better have like a cutie pie little hand cream in your bag. Or if you're going to go out and talk about sun care at the pool, you better have a sunscreen with you. Have the tools to do your job with you wherever you go. Love it. Yeah. So you yeah. got it. It takes a goal. So those are the steps, right? They are the steps. So we're going to focus on setting goals, making plans, getting to work, sticking to it, and reaching those goals, as Jackie said. So we're going to come back. We're going to involve you in a little bit because you've been listening to us far too much now. All right. So we're going to come back in just a moment. I want to read an article. This is from Direct Selling News. The fundamental unit of success in direct selling is a conversation. If someone says, I, you know what? I can't find anybody. Nobody wants to join. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to. I could always say, tell me how many conversations you're having every single day. When you look at that 66 tracker, it's three a day. You do 18 one week, 17 one week, 16, then 15. You add it up. You have 66. When you turn that sheet filled out, just like the 30 conversations that Techie did, you get a grand gift from us. But the gift is your business will explode. Techie has that many appointments and all of that happening because it was 30 conversations, back of the hand to facials, whatever she did. All those things we love about direct selling, selling, sharing, recruiting, re keeping people happy, personal development. It doesn't happen unless you have a conversation with someone about Jaffra, like Jackie just talked about. Conversations are the seed of success for direct selling. If you're not having conversations, your team isn't having conversations about your company, about your products, smelling them, trying them like at the pizza place today, nothing else will happen in your business. I can only promise you. So again, we want to keep this simple at planting seeds. So let me ask you all, how many of you agree the 66 conversations is the ticket? <laughs> see. So when you look at your month of June, how do you see yourself? What would you do differently to have 18, one week, 17, 16, 15? How do you see yourself changing it up a bit? And remember, conversations can be in person, a, a messenger, a personal conversation. It can be a WhatsApp messenger. It can be a text. It can be a video. But you're conversing and engaging in a conversation. So I'm going to just hear some quick shout outs. What are some thoughts that you're going to do to have 66 conversations this month? How do you see that happening for you? For Go me, ahead, Techie, it's shout variety. it out. <clears throat> it's variety. I post on Facebook and I see people commenting and messaging me, what free facial count me in? 
it's talking to people, it's popping up at Starbucks, it's going live and telling people where I am, come find me. It's having the hook of a free Starbucks cup drawing. It's like literally finding a full variety and not just staying stuck in one type of conversation. Because you would be amazed at how all the different ones tend to come together. If this one flops, this one works, this one doesn't, this one blows up. Like variety to me is the key. Excellent. Thank you. So how many of you could see the goal of this week would be 18 conversations? How many of you know if you just did three a day, it'd keep the doctor away? <laughs> Yeah, three a day. Okay. So Phyllis, how would you have three a day this summer? How will you do this different in June? I've got to get out of the house. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. Yes. So you have to plan to. If you're not going to do three a day, you go one day and you don't stop until you've at least had 15 conversations, do it all in a day, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so you need to put it in your planner. You gotta set that goal, but you gotta write it and date it and do it. Otherwise, to get from the goal to the goal isn't gonna happen without the steps in between. Excellent, thank you. Get out of the house, but put the days that you get to go out and spread the jab for joy. Don't look at it like, oh my God, I gotta go do this, right? <laughs> Excellent. Nakria, how about for you? How will you get 66? I am going to be at the collective every weekend. <laughs> it's harder during the week, but this weekend I'm doing um, a fragrance bar. So that's going to draw people in. Um, and then next week, well, next weekend is Father's Day weekend, but I'm going to still be there. Um, and I'll be, I'll be offering back of hand facials. I have a couple of days set up for, um, for, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. So I have one scheduled for, for Saturday as well, but I'm going to be trying to be scheduling one-on-ones in the afternoons and doing, you know, just walk in people um, during the part of that day. So excellent. Excellent. So I'm going to give you facts about 66. One in three people you meet will buy when you allow them or invite them to buy. So out of 66, that's about 20 orders. Okay. One in five will book or attend something when they're asked to. Okay, so that could be 10 facials, bookings, okay, attending your party. Always have an invitation to invite them to if you're not going to book them, right? Even if it's Starbucks. And one in 10 recruit when invited. So there is a purpose to 66 combos. We know they don't all say yes right away, but you'll eventually have that many. Tucky did 30 back of the hand to facials and had about 10% sponsor and booked a lot more than that. She had a 50% ratio to sponsoring. So I say to you all, thank you for sharing, by the way, bravo to your thoughts, but put it in your planner. So now we want to come back to you and we want you to answer this question, okay? How many of you want to sponsor more out there? Can I get a unmute and a, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> awesome. I will. Yeah, I love that. That made my heart happy right there. All right. Most people that aren't sponsoring enough are making one or more of these sponsoring mistakes. So you got to pick one. One, they have a sponsoring attitude hang up. Okay, Jack, what would be a hang up? Uh, nobody wants me to talk to them about this. Everybody hates direct sales near me. Oh my gosh, no. Everybody's been in another company. Okay, good. That's number one. Number two, you got to fear rejection. Oh, they're going to hate me if I talk to them about this. Ooh, I already know they don't want it. Yeah. Number three, you prejudge their decision for them. Yeah, they're not that type of person. You know what? She's an attorney. She'd never do this. She doesn't need the money. Hmm, that's interesting. So look at that list. Pick one, two, or three as what you feel is your number one potential mistake that we tend to do sometimes or all the time. Okay, we'll go by show of hands. Who has number one as theirs? 
Number one was always my problem. I think, I think this is mine. Me too. Okay, number one. And what was number one? The hang up. Attitude hang up. <laughs> Attitude hang up. Okay, number two. <laughs> and how about, oh, that's Ronnie's. Okay, Ronnie. And Ronnie's was? Fear of rejection. Fear of rejection. Gotcha. Okay, and Maria's a little bit there. Three, what's number three? Anybody with a three? Prejudging. Okay, that's Phyllis. That would be that would be mine's prejudging their budget, assuming they don't want to spend two hundred dollars on something they're not that familiar oh, with. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do we rid of that? Any of those? Because they're the three biggest reasons you're not sponsoring more and more. So how do we rid of it? Understand the value of what you're offering. Well, that's a good answer. I love it. Understand the value. It's a value to them. I, and it's for a lifetime opportunity. Okay, great. What else? How else do we get rid of it? I've been had snacks all over the place. Just do it. <laughs> if you don't invite, you'll never know. Mm -hmm. Take a so chance. The worst somebody can do is say no, but that doesn't yeah. mean they're not going to come back yeah. later. And it's okay if they say no. They don't need it. How many of you have been invited to join other companies? I do not ever want to sell vitamins. So stop asking me if I want to buy them, I'll buy them from you. But I'm just honest and say, you know what? I found my thing. I'll never sell something else. But I am so grateful that you thought I could. I appreciate that. And I really mean that. Right? True statement. I don't want it. I don't need it. But I didn't look at it. Jack, you know why I'm laughing. I know why you're laughing. Right? Yes. But it's true, though, because the truth is, I don't even remember who's asked me anymore. That didn't mean anything to me. I just was super grateful that they thought I'd be good at it or thought I might like the discount. I just don't, I don't use them. I don't want them. Make sense? Right? Fear of rejection, people. Remember that the rejection is not a rejection of you. It's just like saying no to coffee or dessert at a restaurant. Like, you are not rejecting the waitress. You're rejecting her offer. Can you imagine if every waitress ran away crying because you didn't buy dessert? Yeah. <laughs> Who says no to dessert? I know. <laughs> easy people. Right? No, 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 we're gonna the the old commercial. Do you want fries with that? <laughs> right. right? Look no. at supersized McDonald's made a fortune because of it, right? So, Maria, what were you going to share? Oh, I just said, who says no to dessert? No one. <laughs> right? Who so, says no to dessert? Who says no to Jaffra? No one. Right. So I do, have, love... I do have something to share, though. Um, a friend of mine that's in another company, um, one of their upline or one of their leaders had posted, uh, oh, I can't sell this because so many other people are selling it and what have you. Well, she showed a picture of look at the bread aisle in the grocery store and how many different brands of the same kind of bread are there. So that's like not an excuse. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. You know, it's funny. People don't ask people in businesses. It's like Tucky earlier today in the leader meeting. She said, I said I wasn't going to be in another business, right? The average person today has five different streams of income. That means multiple businesses, different things they're doing to make more, have more. The cost economy has caused this. So you don't know, you know, but I, if you look at it this way, I owe it to everyone. This is Vicki Hacking. Go back and watch Vicki Hacking. I owe it to every person at the close of an order to decide how they want to get their Jaffra. So I want you to go to your heart because you know what? I think the greatest gift someone gave me when I was 18 years old was the opportunity to buy a kit and get my products at cost and sell to my mom and never pay a dime for my products. And I swore on my grave, I'd never sell it. And if we live in that gratitude and the value that Tucky was talking about, give it from your heart and bless it forward and let it come back to you in its own way. It's only an opportunity for them, but you don't know that they go home and sit in a house and they're lonely. And they don't have this amazing community of beautiful people like you. We don't know that they cry at night. We don't know that they're, they just became a widow and they have no one to talk to. 
We don't know what they're going through in life's chapters that aren't always good. A melancholy day, you can be a day maker, right? So you don't know what they might need. It's not always money or products. It might just be a conversation and a friend. It's why I love 66 Conversations because I'm not trying to force them. I just say, hi, you have the most beautiful daughter in the grocery store. Oh my gosh, I love her outfit. How old is she? Are you? How many other kids do you have? It's just a conversation. And we're just inviting them to fill a need. But if you don't listen and talk a little bit, now you're vomiting, okay? So we challenge you. We're not gonna take you through a whole boatload of slides, but what I wanna end with is just a couple of recaps and then we'll come back and grab, grab a couple of words before we go. So the reason I brought these slides up, it's nothing new that maybe you haven't heard, but we wanted to bring you back to just a couple of quick things. Attitude is 80% of a sponsoring hangup. So if you said number one, you're like 80% of the people. It isn't, you got to focus on them. You're going the wrong way. Okay. It's the wrong way down the street. We have the most awesome opportunity. That's that value Tucky talked about. That kit unlocks more than money. It's hope, life, love, friends, opportunity. 46% of the people are looking for income, friendships, and flexibility. So when you're watching someone on, on Facebook, do a private messenger to them. Congrats on your new baby. Oh my gosh. I would love to invite you to take a look at this. I would love to see you stay home. I see you always talking about work and hating to leave your baby. Would you like to take a look at something and see if the shoe fits? That's all. So help them. Just take a look. You're not asking for a signature the minute you meet them, please. Not a social security number, just an interest. If you're afraid of rejection, this is Jackie's favorite picture. You know what? You're going to get a lot of no's for sponsoring. That's okay versus people buying. But you have to let them choose. You don't get to choose for them. Do they want to buy and save up to 30% this month? Would they like to book and have some fun with friends and save 60? Or would they like to begin with 70, 80% off all the time, the rest of their life on 400 products? If you tried somebody three times, you're like, oh, she's ghosted me and you're done. Meh, big mistake. People need to hear things 13 times. Okay. So again, remember, you're just inviting them to take a look. Have those packets ready to go. Would you like an information packet just to take a look at and browse over it and I'll pop you a text with a video to take a look at and my website. Okay, take a look. And if not for you, share it with someone you know. Okay. So we shared with you earlier this in, in this season on what to put in a recruiting packet. We put this in here for you to look at this deck again. When you need a little wake up, for your day and you're trying to figure out how to sponsor because it ain't happening, print these slides, put them in front of you and this is your building deck how to do it. Then call your buddy, call somebody in our Facebook community, shout it out and say, help me or call your leader. This is some ideas what to put in a recruiting packet. And remember at the bottom of every order from, even if they order from your website, call them back and thank them for their order and say, but wait, I have three great services for you and I wanna see what you might be interested in now. Do you wanna earn free products? We've got some really cool summer themes for fun with your friends. Do you wanna know more about having um, a membership and saving more or even earning more or just sharing Jaffa with your free website and paying for your Jaffa habits? Or do you wanna make sure, I wanna make sure you're on my social media site, that you're, uh, I've got your email, your ma mail and mobile information. So again, make sure you follow up. The bottom of the order form are these three questions, but are you asking them every time they order? We end with prejudging. The key is this, if you invite others and you don't invite people you know, but you've invited everybody and you didn't invite them or you invited some, but not everybody, they're probably feeling bad. You didn't invite them. So just ask, just say, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever invited you to do what I love in my life. I love my products. I love sharing Jaffa and I've never invited you. I am so sorry. And I've been here for 20 years. I am so deeply sorry. And then listen, okay? So again, just invite people to take a look. 
So we just wanted to end with keeping that list. So when you look at sales, again, your, your products could do facials every day, back of the hand as Tucky talked about. You have a wonderful hostess program. You have fantastic bundles and we've got great samples, but you got to wake up and make your plan. If it's going to be three a day or 15, because you're only going to leave your house once a week or that day, maybe you can do three on your phone, three on Facebook the next day, three in town or six in town and get two days done in a day. It is about starting the day, creating a list and inviting and just invite. When you're stuck, use the J-A-F-R-A contact list. That's the key, is adding more to your list. And at the end, you always say, if not you, who do you know? If not now, may I call you back in July or would you prefer I call you back in the fall? Great. And if you, who do you want to bring along with you? If not now, then when? If not you, then who? If you, plus who? That's how we close and I always have more on our list. When you think of sponsoring, wake up every day and fill this out. Who do you know that? Then get ready to talk about what you think they're going to love. What are you going to say to them? Why you thought of them? Maybe it's their qualities. Maybe it's what you know they're going to love. And again, once they say yes, work alongside them with your manager and let's help them become a VIP and earn all the extras they might be wishing for. But every day, it's a contact list to grow that garden. So we wanted to just bring you a little bit more on how to have the most incredible month. And don't miss June 15th. All of these tools are to help you grow your team to qualifications. We will never, ever not believe in you. We know you are made to be in this leader team and maybe even grow more and go to Vegas with us. So Jack, anything else I missed before we go? Nope, we'll believe in you. Even when you refuse to believe in you, we will continue to believe in you. Even when it hurts you for us to believe in you, we will believe in you, so. Yes, Sorry. So you got it. All right, we wanna hear 10 second takeaway. Phyllis, what's your takeaway from tonight and your excitement for June? Um, I gotta grow, we're gonna do it. Grow, grow, Are you grow, committed? Grow, grow. This is her month. June is her month to bloom. You got it, girl. Yes. Thank you. Maria, what's yours? Uh, well, let's see. I committed to uh, my upline that I was going to be a manager by my birthday, which is June 30th. So I've got, I got work to do. Let's go, um, sis. You will do it. We are here for you. When you need help, go into Facebook and say, help, help. Okay, you got this community. Nikria, how about for you? The, the 66 conversations, I think tracking them. I, I have the conversations, but I'm not tracking them all. And then I only following up with some people because I gathered their names. So being more consistent with, you know, who I'm talking to and what I talk to them about and keeping it into one place. Excellent tip. Excellent. When you see their name on paper, right, then you follow up differently too. Yes. Beautiful. Love it. Kathy, how about for you? Encourage some more parties. I need to have some parties. I need to do that. And my team. That's what we need to do. And you guys have rock star parties. Holy bananas. I know, but we need Who's to do seen our new consultant do training. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kathy, you could easily be a district manager. You just need Easy. to be moving your folks forward. Easy, sis. Don't I'm drop that day. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Thank Vegas, you. baby. We Vegas, believe in baby. you. Let's go. Yeah, I love it. Ronnie, how about for you, Doc? Keep on going and ask more people. Conversations, conversations. Love it. All right, Tucky, any last minute takeaway? Stay focused and not get so scatterbrained. And I think that that, that tracker you gave us is really going to help me stay dialed in because I know I didn't track very well on the 30 and that probably cost me some follow-up. And then, by the way, read the chat. I left a couple of comments in there for you. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Kendall, we haven't heard or seen you, but just seeing if you're able to unmute and just say something before we go. There she is. Well, I, ha I have to go over a couple things. 
on Thursday. But I have I have ideas because but there are events that just started and it's the um splash pad, the baseball, the music, and the pool that the just pool. opened. Excellent. In my area. Yeah, we've got our Thursday Minnesota meeting, so we'll brainstorm on that. Take your sunscreen. Well, I have Go. a question, but I'll tell you. Because I get tourists, you know, on the Mississippi, if there's something I can do there. Because mm. I get bit, a lot of them. So Nice. Awesome, awesome. So... We're not too sure about um, regional colors there, Nakria. So okay. anyway, so I want to say thank you all for your feedback. Um, I was just going to say if there's any questions for you going, Nakria said, what's our regional colors? We're not so sure what they're doing with that. That's a good question we forgot to ask yesterday. Yeah, because they said for conference, and I'm like, what are our colors? I, mean, I already shocked what I was planning to wear. I think <laughs> we know. It's a green. It's like a greenish. Green. Light green, blue, and orange. No. Well, mm -mm. what? I have one is orange and green. I have a lime oh, green. Oh, okay. Your stuff. There's a lime green. Yeah, and blue. I think the east is like green, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we don't we don't know what we they're doing know. with that because my on the map they're going by the map colors and mine is gray. <laughs> you can all imagine how excited I'm. Yeah, I can wear all my Raiders stuff, you know, black and silver. No, no, my I'm a Beach fan. You do not wear Raiders. That is like my absolute never. That was good. That was good. So, sorry. Um, we'll keep you posted. That's a good yeah, question. We'll you we have to ask that okay. question. Thank you. Any other I questions? Was, Go ahead, Maria. Yeah. Is the uh, the agenda that's in the waves information? Is that correct? Uh, when to my knowledge, the event, the events, Jaffa events, convention situation. Convention. Yeah. To my knowledge, and, everything is currently up to date. Yes. And typically, okay, so everything once... kind of starts Thursday night. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. And typically, once we're done with registration June 15th, we'll be sending you all the updates by email. Now we know who's going, and then we start to inform you individually. What about the conference pack? I, I saw them mention that, but I didn't see it in writing anywhere. Is that something we can pre order or? We get it. We'll, we get we'll update you. We're, yeah. we're waiting on components yeah. that haven't come in yet for it. So we're okay. kind of like slagging bag in here because we can't get our stuff. Um, <laughs> so once that okay. comes in, we'll again notify everybody that's already registered. Okay. With Besides region color, is there any other yeah. events that are dress code specific that I need to go shopping for? There isn't a dress code for the closing party, but they're suggesting shades of blues and white for the closing party for it to be like oceany waves. And then the recognition dinner, I think that's a buy-in. Um, that's going to be a little bit more dressy. Formally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's by invite or um, buy-in, but buy -in. we'll know, we'll know who's invited to that slash bought, bought in soon. Yeah. Okay. So. Once you hit the 15th, you'll get all data real soon. <laughs> so we're getting close. We're getting close. Okay. Was there any other questions, Jack, in the chat? I'm sorry. I didn't even no, ask. No, I don't think so. Okay, cool. Okay. So thank you all for being here. We wish you a great Love June. You. We're here for you. Thank you. You're an amazing group. And uh, we'll see you soon on Zoom. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.